Okay, so parts all finished. An ambitious print for me. Turned out pretty good, I think. Well, there's a few little lines in here, but you know, a little light sanding, uh, which will help the paint adhere. That'll be, uh, that'll take out some of these little lines in there. But now the problem is uh, getting it off the uh, print bed. You know, when you have little, the little, uh, the part that gets drawn on there uh, before, you know, the startup mode, that comes off easy. Uh, not a lot of uh, area connected to the bed. And the smaller the part, the easier it is, right? So there's so much area in contact with the bed. This is going to be a challenge, I think. If it were a small part, like, uh, like one of these parts, then, you know, you just grab it and pop it right off. So, I'm gonna give this a try and see what happens. I'm not sure how this is gonna work, but we're gonna find out together. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try warming the bed up, so let's apply some power. Okay, I'm gonna try and get the bed a little warmer. I should set it for 60. So we're at 44, 45, so it's climbing. Okay. <clears throat> After some struggling, I warmed the bed up a little more. This side is gonna be the back of the model, so you're not gonna see it as much. Kinda of dug into it a little bit. Hopefully I didn't damage it too much or something that can't be repaired. And I'm working on getting this moved around. That bed is a little warm. Definitely gonna end up scratching it, that's for sure. Just gonna try to keep working away around. And listen when I pull. You can hear it separating. And there it goes. Okay, let's see how much damage I did to the bottom. Yeah, 
those are lines from the print. Those are lines from my scraping. So yeah, right here, a little bit of damage, not severe. Yeah, I gouged the bed just a little bit. Not too badly. So, that was interesting. So I'll do some cleanup work and uh, yeah, wasn't horrible. I think changing the temperature of the bed helped. Um, on previous prints, let me see if I have an example over here. I was printing these uh, little guys and uh, knew that it was going to be an issue. And so I printed, uh, you weren't going to see this part. There's a little divot where I could get one of the tiny screwdrivers in under it and pry on it. And that seemed to work. So maybe I should have been smarter and printed a little gap or something to make that easier. Anyway, not bad. Okay, so this is the, uh, the launch tube, cut away, right? So this will mount right on top and then it'll get epoxied in place or something. So it'll sit like that. That's gonna work out pretty good, I think. Nice, that fit in there pretty well. Measuring uh, once and printing once. It's not 100% perfect. But I did notice when I cut this, because I removed a section, this changed shape. You know, it relied on the 100% round to, to help it, you know, hold its shape. And when I did that, I think it opened up a little and different areas changed their arc. So anyway, we'll make it work. A little epoxy and, you know, some creative uh, thinking, well, it'll make it work. <laughs>